Ashley Lloyd. I'm a shaper from Santa Cruz, California, and uh, I make Ashley Lloyd surfboards when I'm not playing music. Shaping boards the last seven years or so. Let's take a look at some of my boards. Um, well, this here is a little quad I made. The first uh, myofoam board I ever shaped. My boyfriend Alex has taken it over. Um, over the last couple months. <laughs> but this is a fun one. We have, ever since we got these rainbow bamboo fins in there, uh, the rainbow fin makes this quad set up and they work incredible. Um, so that's been a, a treat, a new little gem to the board. This is my signature model with Bing surfboards. I have um, a pintail signature model with them, a rounded pin, and it's got lovely, elegant, 50-50 rails and concave and um, it's a pretty cool board tested and approved in all the countries I've ever traveled to and um, it's a great all-around board uh, this one right here we call the Phil because I made it after surfing a Phil Edwards surfboard um, that I just loved and so, thank you, Phil Edwards, for being the, the man, the myth, and the legend that hopefully someday I'll meet. But love this, um, I love the shape, and so it's similar to one of his boards that he shaped. Um, but this board is a triple stringer. It's actually made of biofilm also. There's a really neat life to this board. It's a 10-2, but the rails are kind of thinner, almost knifey. And, um, it, it's a good sensation. It's it feels different than a lot of your standard performance boards. There's just a, a good glide when you ride it. You can ride it in knee high surf. To we've taken it out a couple feet overhead, so we're still adventuring in the shape with that one. Uh, this is another one of my shapes. I borrowed this from Paradise Surf Shop to take it to the the uh, trade show here. Um, Paradise Surf Shop is an all-women's store. I think the first one in California. And um, they're awesome. They're located in Santa Cruz, and it's a women-focused surf shop. Um, so basically what this one is is a biofoam board with a teal resin tint on it. And it's a diamond tail. Um, super fun board. Here's another diamond tail. This board I shaped for a movie called Deer and Yonder that's going to be coming out soon. And uh, Serena Mitnick Miller painted on it for me. So in the film, it'll show me shaping the board and her painting on it, and then I glassed it. Um, pretty fun doing that project. I'm going to show you this fin. Uh, this is a fin that I designed with Rainbow Fin Company. It's bamboo, and it's the best fin I've ever had. I'm really stoked. We've been working on just getting that, that template down, and the bamboo allows for a light fin. It also has great foil, and it's using less... Um, it's using more environmentally friendly material having less fiberglass in it, replacing that with bamboo. Um, so this this fin works great in my big pintail. I've gotten some of the longest nose rides of my life with this fin on that board. But it also works good on these, on these diamond tails. Um, this is a fin my boyfriend Alex designed with Rainbow Fin Company. We've been putting that one in the fill over there. We love the um, bamboo fins. This is a buddy I found down at the ocean <laughs> in Santa Cruz on one of my low tide walks. We find all these interesting little, like, I don't know, it's a fish. I mean, how did it get like that? It just came that way. But I thought I'd <laughs> bring it down here to the church. Oh, um, my music, the Serenata Road recordings. I get my ideas from music when I shape in a silent room. 
All right. Um, so this board is called the Skipper. Um, it's a wide point further back, square tail, 50-50 uh, rails. Okay, so this is beveled concave. So we're, we're working with this and um, that'll be fun to try that out in the ocean. So wide opaque, glass job, guys at Elmar Surf. Surfworks, glass my boards. Tony Micus does such a great job, and uh, I have these stripes on the board. This is a board I shaped for my team rider. Her name is Chris Thompson. She rode my Deer and Yonder board and really loved it, so I I made it really similar to the Deer and Yonder um, with a little bit of modifications just for her. And uh, yeah, so we got. Our special little pinstripes on there. It's a little, a little unique just to give her something special because that's what she is. Um, but I actually glassed that board. I didn't pin line it, but Alex and I glassed it, so that was pretty fun. We glassed this one, the Deer and Yonder board, and the Phil Edwards. But usually uh, Tony Micus does our glass. That's pretty much it. I try to test and approve every board that I ride because. I love surfing and that's part of the experience of shaping is finding out if they work, you know, and we stick with the shapes that do. Um, well, anyways, if you'd like to check me out on my website, it's AshleyLloydMusic.com. AshleyLloydMusic.com. Just keep life full of love and, and light. I've never seen this. I got it sent to me. Okay. And then, uh. For you? Yeah, that's me. This was in uh, New Zealand magazine. Yeah. And that's is. my old shaping room. <laughs> I miss it. It's at my mom's house.